We are live, live. Thank you everyone for joining. Arabo Met is here, Karibu. The Mokazi Super Trainer is here. Miss G is here. Thank you. Matthew Maduku, my desk mate is here. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queen Dayo. In case you're new here, and today, as always, in my channel, I have an amazing guest, Simple Lady P. Yes. Karibu sana. Undiluted Simple Lady. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Simple Lady P is in the house. Uh, she's an amazing friend, an amazing YouTuber. You go check her channel after this. Can you do? Don't forget. And also, subscribe to my channel for more recipes and house cleaning. Exactly. And more chats on more important things. Okay, Diana Kim's namesake. Karibu sana. <laughs> so guys, our topic today is about how to deal with depression. Yeah. Especially in relationships and uh, in um, relationships na and schools. Let's start with the relationship. How do you deal with depression in relationships? Especially, I'm talking about uh, maybe when you're having going through something in a relationship. Yeah. So first, we have to understand what is depression. Okay. Depression is an advanced stress. Advanced stress. Yes. It starts slowly as, as stress, then it advances to... Uh, it advances to depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So guys, as we know, or as you know that, if you're depressed, you can't function. Exactly. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. If you have some mental stress, you can't focus. You can't do anything constructive. Yes. All, all you think is about negativity. Exactly. Because there's nothing comes out of depression. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how do you deal with depression? First of all, you need to know what caused this depression. When you're depressed, there's usually something that made you get depressed. Okay, yeah. so get to know what is it that made me depressed? Is it relationship? Is it maybe school? Mm -hmm. uh, things are not working out in school. So let's start with relationship. How do you deal with depression when in a relationship? Uh, personally, when you're depressed in a relationship, the only way out is just quitting. Okay. Because you can't stay where you're depressed and you're not getting any assistance. Yes. Maybe your partner is not trying to assist you to overcome what is making you have stress. Okay. And if that person is the reason to where you're having stress, so why should you continue staying in a place where you're stressed? Mm -hmm. So the only way it's quitting it yes. or leaving the, the place and going to start or going away for some time. You see, you mm -hmm. give each other time. Like most of the people say, uh, we need to separate. Like you give me time, I give you time. We mm -hmm. go part way parts. You know, yes. like give me two months, I want to go or give me some time off and you take your time off Yes, away from me completely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you go away from me so that we can be able at least to catch some new thoughts, breathe some new air, have everything new, like you just want that your me time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so... Once you do that, yes. you're entitled to come up, come up with new ideas and new ways of treating yes. or even new ways of coming up with a, a solution that is going to help you mentally, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you're depressed mm. and you don't have anyone to help you yes. and you don't, want, you don't have anyone to talk to you and you don't want to share this with anyone, do you know that can lead to maybe committing suicide? When you don't have somebody to talk to. You're depressed. Yes. You don't want to share it out. Yes. And you don't want to talk to someone about it. Yes. So what will happen to you? It can make you even commit suicide. Yes. Mm. And at the end of the day? You lose your life. Mm -hmm. So I think like you need to track yourself. Emma, you, you have think? to keep saying. You have to keep saying. Yes. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if your mind is not the same, you yourself, you can't help yourself. If small things make you get stressed, yes. what will you? What will make relationship not stress you more? Uh -huh. So I think you need to, like, 
you focus on yourself first before yes. um, I'm trying to add some things here. Like you, so I'm saying, for example, yeah, this is a relationship that you've worked so much. Yes. And then it's, it's a time that it's not doing well. Yes. What's your option? Do you quit? What do you do? Give myself, you give yourself time yes. to think about it. Yes. Yes. And rebuild yourself. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you all for joining kindly. Um, we have uh, the Mokazi saying amazing topic at this time. And as we can see, maybe you're here trying to fix something, something. So, yeah, I'm trying to fix something here. So kindly, as you enter, like, I have an amazing woman in the house, Simple Lady P. She's such an amazing woman. Uh, and yeah, keep liking my video. Kindly share me out if you can to your community tabs. Kindly, kindly share me out. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to fix something. Okay. Then how do you go? Okay. Okay, so Lady P, what yes. about school? How do you deal with uh, depression while in school? If you're in school, you're a student, yes. you went there to do what? What did you go to school to, to study. do? study. You went to study? Yes. And? Yeah, you went there to study. Yes. Yeah. So if you went to study and you have other things that are distracting you or you have something that is bothering your mind, yes. at the end of the day, mm. are you going to focus? No, you won't focus. You won't focus. Yes. So the only way mm. you can do is have focus and concentrate on one thing. Yes. Yeah, we know so many students get so depressed in many ways. Like you can get incidences of a student or a person who is in school, yes. maybe they have not performed to what they want. Yes. You see? Mm. And they think that they are failures. So the best thing you can do or the only way you can help this person is sitting this person down and talking to them. You cancel them. Yeah. There are other students who go, like university people, who go to school. They have all their things, but now they see what other people are doing and you don't have, you get stressed. Dayo can, uh, Queen Dayo can be able to fan the outs. Queen Dayo can be able to party. Queen Dayo can be able to do this. Queen Dayo is being followed by all handsome men. Queen Dayo is having this and this and this. And you personally, you can't, you afford. can't afford that. So you get depressed exactly. because you feel that you're not wanted. Yes. You, you, can't, you are not favored by these people. Yes. There are no guys following up. There, these, there are these hot dudes who are here and they're trying to win Queen Dayo because she has this and this. She's unique. She's smart. Yes. But I think now when you start comparing yourself with another person, exactly. that's, that's when you get, really get depressed. Yes. Understand that you're, you're beautiful the way you are, yeah. you're handsome the way you are, mm -hmm. appreciate yourself for who you are and don't compare yourself with somebody because somebody can afford maybe good hair, maybe good nails, maybe because somebody in your school can afford things that you cannot afford. Don't compare yourself with, because they come with Uber, they come, they're dropped with the big vehicles, mm -hmm. don't compare I understand that everyone here mm. has a different journey. The Mokazi saying I've shared you on my community tab. Thank you so much. Kindly share me out. Share me out. And then another thing, you know, when those students are doing such thing, you tend to feel that you want company. You also want to fall in that class of uh, celebrities or you want to be famous in that school. Yes. So what do you get most of the students do? They feel so stressed. And they start doing bad things. Yes. You just find a student went somewhere and threw him or herself from the highest roof. Some commit suicide. Yeah. They hang themselves. Like, uh, is it last year? Yes. Yeah, last year we yes. had so many cases in Jack. What? Yeah. Of people killing their themselves. Yes. yes. 
there is this boy who got so stressed to a point that and the stress was not even something that you could you could just term it as stressing yes but that guy went ahead and decided to commit murder yes and the family was here stressing and trying to know what is why why is my son not picking up the parents were calling and they used to share a room with the sister and the sister is like i'm trying to call my brother and my brother is not picking so what's the problem what what's the problem they had to send a friend to go and check only to realize when they get when the guy got home he tried to peep and saw that boy hanging he just killed himself using the bed sheet because of stress imagine i think i think we really need to be we are, we are not we really need to be checking out on our friends yeah most of our people are suffering depression yeah and we as friends we don't know i really think if you see sometimes people are depressed and what they do they post so much even apart from, people apart from that yes. we have students who commit even even the the young ones those who have just finished form 4 or class 8 they also commit murder suicide yani yes. they commit suicide because the pressure that they had from the parents you know we want you to be the best we yes. want you to achieve this we want you to be position 1 we want to not the pressure that they give you okay and at the end of the day you just feel as if you're a failure yeah. you didn't achieve what your parents did yes. you they wanted at the end of the day your parents have sold all they have all the properties for you to go in school and learn yes. and then you didn't accomplish that we had of a woman who who had given the son pressure and decided that no i've got these marks yes. and my mom is going to feel bad about it and the mother was so pushing and pressing pressing this this boy he just committed murder so she was like if i knew that would lead if to, i to, knew to killing yeah, your child if i knew it would happen like this i wouldn't have done that but it yeah, was too late yeah. I think we really need to be like I always say really be the best friend to your kids. Yeah. Sometimes things that our children do in the universities in the schools is because of us. Sometimes as parents we really fail. So I think that we really should be very close to our kids, get to know them. Even when they tell you mom I have a boyfriend, don't kill them. Don't beat them up. Just talk them out for the pole slowly and get to know what the problem is. Oh, like when I was growing up my mom really wanted the best for me mm-hmm. you know and being this person that i don't i didn't like pressure so yes, much yes. and you know you, if you really is if you give your child pressure to uh, to obtain something they end up losing it because they will be focusing on the fear yes not to achieve what you want exactly they will focus on the fear that oh my god my mom told me i should be position 1 yes my mom told me i should get to this career yeah oh my am i going to get it no are you focusing on education or you're focusing on your what your mom said yeah, exactly so because of fear you want to be that best person you focus on your education but at the end of the there's something ringing behind your behind mind. your mind my mom ah, gave me a warning exactly. my parents my family my society is looking up to me mm-hmm. am i going to achieve am i going to give the best of what they want yes And then another thing mm-hmm. um maybe you've gone through a breakup with somebody mm-hmm. this somebody that you really loved so much and uh at the end of the day mm-hmm. he he or she decides to leave what step would you take this is a point where most of the people kill themselves mm-hmm. uh most of the people feel like the world is tumbling down so mm-hmm. what advice can you give on that personally if someone leaves you it's for the better of you too yes why did that person leave yes. that person is not comfortable of, of who you are or maybe the other person is not okay with what you are yeah. what you're bringing mm-hmm. you know there are people in a relationship who are pests yeah sure. they are just there to be provided for provide for me all the time you know you bring for me uh food you bring for me these you pay rent you pay these you do you do everything but whereas if you get your money it's all about yourself you get your own shoes you get you don't care about your partner mm-hmm. you can't tell your partner like oh, you know what let me help you pay one two three bills or let me chip in this month or maybe let me provide food let me do this you're just there as a pest so those are the people who get offended or even get stressed yes. because they know if they lose that attachment yeah if they lose that attachment with you 
they'll get stressed because they didn't know to struggle. They didn't know to hustle out because they were always being given. Yeah. And you know, a hand that is always being given can never give. Can never give. Yes. Oh. So tell me what will happen. You will be stressed. You don't want to lose this person. So you tell yourself, I'd rather be in this toxic relationship, but I benefit. Uh, I feel like you shouldn't stay in a toxic relationship because you like there's something you're getting it from. Life yeah. is too short. At least go somewhere that you feel appreciated, somewhere that and you know, relationship me, you help each other. Definitely. And that's what I'm yeah. telling you. Yes. If you don't do anything in a relationship, you don't give. Exactly. You're just there to be given. To be given. At the end of the day, if this person leaves you, you're going to be depressed. Yes. That's why now people, you'll just see as if everyone hates you. Okay. You start committing suicide. Yeah. You start thinking of how you're going to eliminate this person. Yes. You're trying to look for a way how you're going to spoil for this person. Yes. You go to the work of place or anything and try to make this person look more bad. Exactly. Yes. So that is how it's supposed. That's how mm. people do it. You know. It's it's in the screen. It's okay. So okay. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. But at least is here. She's saying, Oi, Paul, I'm late. Thank you so much for coming. Please share me out, share me on your community tab, share me on the group. Tell them Quindayo is live. Mm -hmm. They should come and support me. It's my first live. I'm so so excited. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already yeah. Uh, -huh. uh so I put my number there. So anyone that needs to support me, kindly support me through Mpesa and if you're in the US through Sendwave, Diana or Catch, and there is my number there. Kindly support me. Support, 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 support me. Bucket list says please share me out, share me out. Uh so yeah, like I said, if you need to support me, the number is up there. So you support me through Mpesa or send if you're in the USA. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So our talk today was about depression in um, family vlogs is here. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, Kabisa. Karibu sana. Our topic today is about how to deal with depression in relationships and school. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of the people, most mm -hmm. of the people we've seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the people we have seen, uh, most of the people that we have seen, <laughs> okay. Oh, is that Miss Mwakazi? She's so pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is, that is, um, I'm um, Mrs. Mwakazi. That is Mrs. Mwakazi. As you're writing me up, but people know me with simple lady But yeah. also, you can call me Miss Mwakazi if. If you it's like, big, yeah. Thank you for joining all. Kindly share me out. Share, share, share me out. Uh, uh, back at least. Uh, what do you think? Tell us, share with us. Tell us more about uh, depression in the relationship and in school. What do you think? Have you ever encountered something of the sort or seen friends who have encountered? They're so stressed they're to a point that even they can't focus. They can't even... Like they can't even give in in anything because they are all stressed. So would you like to share with us if you have an experience or have friends who had something of the sort, they are so stressed. Kindly tell us, let us know. Uh, Mwakazi says pretty like Mr. Mwakazi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pami Broxen, most of the people, most of the people, uh -huh, yes. Uh, Mwakazi says, we encourage people to speak out rather than be introverts and slide into depression. There are people who don't like sharing their stress. Do you know that? Yeah, but it's very bad. It's because mm -hmm. if you don't want to share your stress, it can, it, can really, it can really kill you. But do you know, there are people who you can share your, your stress out yes. and they get to laugh at you. Okay, it's always good to share out your stress, what's nagging you, what's bothering you, to people who are close to you, not everyone. Okay. But it's always said, you are supposed to share with a stranger who doesn't truly really know you well. Yes. That's the very best advice I can ever give to someone. You're suffering from something, you have depression, you have stress, until you feel to a point that you can't make it anymore. Go to someone you don't know, someone who can listen to you, advise you, talk to them. 
those are the people who doesn't who don't who know don't you. know but there is this friend that you have that you feel that you can talk to also yes. talk to a sister who can you can talk to talk to yes yeah mokazi is saying depression is number one uh issue in many countries mostly during this pandemic time and then family vlog says lack of preparedness during our exams after exams most of the student develop depression ending to hysterical disorder yeah mokazi said true especially during this pande- pandemic time This pandemic in fact this video was mostly one of the requested video. Yeah. I needed to do it kitambo but I didn't do it because of some reason but today I finally did it. Yeah. And one was telling me because personally I'm a person who de- dealt with depression during one of my relationship and I almost died. Mm-hmm. Okay? And also depression in school. Yeah. Somebody also told me how can I do? Mm. So like during the pandemic this is like your partner your partner maybe had a lot of money yeah during the pandemic his job has ended yeah how are you going to deal with that that's depression in relationship during this covid time yeah okay in school you're going to your last year you're going to your last year in school and then pop the that's corona it. is coronavirus is here yeah. <laughs> and then like you need to like you need to stay one year at home without going to school how will you deal with such depression Uh, personally I've I had a stress last, like last year I was undergoing some mental craziness I think it's not because uh, I'm a stress person but it was one of my worst years I just had to go through that losing a business and at the same time no corona is here and starting another business and now that other business is also not going to work because of this pandemic thing and everything yes. i was feeling as if my mind was switching like completely yeah. i was like not getting crazy but i was feeling as if i'll go crazy yeah. i was feeling as if i'll go nuts but having someone who supports you it's good because i understand by that time you now my husband is here yes. he has to support me yes. do you know he had to go with me to his workplace to his clients yeah it had gone to that point you just wake up prepare yourself i'm not leaving you in this house you go with we me we have to go So he would go train his client and he would leave me in the car or somewhere taking some coffee or something to at least make me have that freshness in my mind. Yeah. At least my mind to wonder because now if I stay in the house I just feel my mind is so like it's full. I'm just looking at one point. I'm not even blinking. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. But if you have someone who's ready to work with you or help you during that time it would be very very good or very easy for you to mm. get out of it but if you're alone and you don't have someone to talk to you know it's funny enough when you just get in your house you lock it no one knows no one knows your trouble or out mm-hmm. they only see you passing and that's all mm-hmm. so tell me if you do something fishy or something has come up in your mind yes you maybe you decide to take poison or yes. burn the whole apartment exactly. what will you ha- what will happen yeah uh, i feel like Really when you're going through something try to find somebody that you trust that you can tell that thing you don't have to you don't have to like die with something inside maybe if if it's a relationship is killing me maybe it's because i didn't get the grades i want in my studies i really need to find somebody even find somebody that is older than you find somebody that even is like Maybe let's take an example of bucket list says this somebody that that she's in Germany. Yeah. So if I talk to her about uh something, maybe my family, she doesn't know my family. Yeah. Okay? So it's some, somebody that can be like a confidant. Yeah. I'll talk to her about things that I'm undergoing. Mhm. Because she doesn't know anyone and she can't tell anyone Definitely. at the end of the day. So yeah. she will be a confidant and will be pouring out to her about my the things that I'm That, that I'm struggling with maybe like it's too simple it'd be like I'm like you're like a confidant I can tell you everything yeah okay and I'm sure that you cannot tell anyone somebody. else so in life you really need somebody that you really trust yes because you know once you talk to me mm-hmm. some any some part of stress in it's relieved because you're going to talk it out and you see the way mm-hmm. the way possible yeah yeah uh family vlog is saying lack of preparedness during for exams during exams during exams after exam most of the student develop depression and ending to hysterical disorder have you ever come to a point yeah. you guys your finished exam and someone is asking 
for question one or this question, what did you write the answer? What happened to this and this and this? And you're like, whatever answer you got or whatever answer you wrote and whatever answer I wrote, mine might be, let's say mine is correct and yours is wrong. Yes. You'll feel so depressed. Yes. Because you'll see yourself failing. You just feel as if you didn't do the best of what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So, and I think most of this happened to those people who have uh, bigger, what, bigger careers. Exactly. Or who are doing exams that if you fail, if you just fail on one exam, it's done for you. Yeah. You have a whole year to, to receive the paper. Exactly. And that paper will make you not even to progress. Mm. So uh, people tend to, to get stressed. Mm. But then again, like, uh, like um, Pam Leaf said, like, you need to study. For you to pass your exams, you need to study. For your relationships to work, you really need to work on them. Bucket list says, very true. Last year, a court TV helped me through a phase, and I knew she didn't know the person. It was easier that way. Ex exactly. Mm -hmm. Some people like me are people that really had uh, trust issues. Mm -hmm. In the past, I told you I've been depressed because of our past relationship. Mm -hmm. And what killed me is because I never had somebody to, to pour it to. out. But then during the journey, I met an amazing woman in the US who she's literally my best friend now. Mm -hmm. And I was able to talk to her through voice calls, do, through video calls, through everything, mm -hmm. and I was able to heal, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because talking to that person, she doesn't know you personally. Personally, She doesn't know the person you're talking about. Yeah. There's no one at all she can tell. She can't go in your Facebook and try to find people to inbox, yeah. okay? So if you have uh, trust issues, kindly get somebody that you don't know. Mm. Somebody, you might be having somebody abroad or somebody in another country that you feel like they can help you. Yani, make them a confidant, share your stress out, and, they, and yani, you, they will help you. That's what I do. Yeah. But nowadays, I've really learned to open up. If I have a problem, I will tell you straight up. Yeah. I will tell you, Kabisa, because I knew that you're hiding what you're going through, it kills you. Find somebody to talk through your troubles. Um, what he says, family broke very, uh, uh, that's the next issue. Most students are not prepared. We as parents need to encourage them. That's the thing. And then he says, imagine how many students will be depressing that they got the lowest grades in the history of country. Imagine. That's so depressing. Mm. Like, no, okay, most of the students, like, we had corona. Yes. Most of the students have gone back to school. Yeah. They had the they had the long time at home, mm. but I don't think they were able to access the materials or the information they wanted for academic. Because yeah. I don't think being at home as a student a whole year can make you achieve what you wanted. Even if you're going to study day in, day out. Do you know there is that help of a teacher, of yeah, help of someone else who is going, and you're going to focus. Mm -hmm. Studying at home sometimes can be hard if you're not a homeschooling person yeah it's going to be hard to achieve what you want okay yeah sure and i hope this year we are not going to encounter any student who is killing him or herself or because, because of, of the grades or having parents who are pushing their kids to achieve the very best you know yeah. but you know some parents are, are funny because you just hear someone saying because your work was only eating and sleeping and watching cartoon didn't think of anything else but that's a kid. Oh. You don't push such Yeah. Then, pressure. if your child is a slow learner, if your child doesn't get the good grades and he or she's trying her best, don't have to kill him. It's not a must for somebody to succeed through education. They need education, but if they are trying their best and it's not working, don't kill your kids. Don't shout to, to your kids because they didn't make it in their studies. Uh, Arab Bomet says, very true. Bucketly says, very true. Last year, at a court helped me through a phase and I knew that she didn't know the person. Yes. It was easier that way. Yeah. And then Mokazi says, have good confidence who you can share whatever problem you're going through. And then he says, most issues are psychological as a result of financial. Yeah. Do yeah. you know that is also yeah, true? Uh, especially during the pandemic, uh, pandemic, corona pandemic, some people like me, uh, probably even you, mm -hmm. you don't get the kind of revenue you used to get yeah. before. COVID was mm -hmm. a year that I really, if we, if we survived last year, there's no year we won't survive. Mm -hmm. COVID, I'm a person who used to like getting lots of revenue. Yeah. And then this is COVID that has come here. Mm -hmm. 
job is gone, mm -hmm. business is gone, you you literally starting from the drawing board. Yeah. And if you're not strong, mm -hmm. you can go into depression. Very true. I've seen so many people, like people who had big jobs, they were paying, they were being paid well. They have been slashed their salary to maybe 50% is gone. So you're told, maybe let's say you're paid 50,000 at the end of the month. And now you're told it's either you quit the job or you'll yeah. be paid 25,000. Yeah. If I may ask, you're living in a house that you pay more than 25,000. You have kids, you mm. have family, you have other bills to attend to, and there is no any other financial intake. Mm. What is going to happen? You're going to... And that's why you see most of the people killed themselves during that time. Yeah. We had so many people hang themselves. I remember there is one man who went hanged himself in Westland near the this building that helps people. Yeah. There's a, yeah, on a tree. Yeah, on a tree. Him. There's that man who went and hung. And maybe that person only needed maybe 500 or 200 Imagine. to feed for that day. But I think we should. How really... do you face your family if you don't have? And sometimes some women, even people, don't understand the situation you're going through. Then again, family really fails mm -hmm. in checking people. I'm going. I can count the people that called me during the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. Any people left you out, Kabisa? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm saying if we survive those years, there's no year that we cannot survive. Um, family vlogs uh, is saying take up some form of exercise. Yeah. There's evidence that exercise can help lift your mood if you haven't exercised for a while. Start gently by walking for 20 minutes a day. Exercises. That's one thing that I did when uh, to get myself back on track. I used to work out real bad. And the only workouts really helps. Mm -hmm. Mokazi says, family vlogs, and I give free exercise that anyone can follow at home. Very true. Mokazi and family vlogs. Mm -hmm. Mokazi is a super personal trainer. Go check his channel. And family vlogs is a doctor and also uh, gives free exercises. You can also check his channel. Mm -hmm. uh, family vlog says stay healthy by eating, balanced diets. And then the Mokazi says if walking is not your thing or the environment doesn't allow you to walk, do some easy workouts at home. Yeah. You can, there are a lot of channel, Mokazi's channels. You can 10 minutes work exercise, do it, and then you feel great after that. And then family vlog says avoid alcohol, drinking too much alcohol worsens the situation. Doc is taking points, democracies. So about working out, it helps you have a refreshed mind. Apart from even having uh, this pandemic, most of the people have lost their job. Mm -hmm. You feel so bad knowing that by this time you should be in the office or by this time you should be going to do some deliveries or by this time you should be going somewhere yes. and you don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. I think by waking up early in the morning, you wake up, do some workout. Okay. You're going to engage all your mind and all your strength to do maybe that sit-up that's giving you stress, maybe that squat that's giving you stress. It's going to give you a focus that you want to achieve. I want to know how to do these sit-ups well. I want to know how to do these quotes well. Mm. You use your energy on doing something positive. That, that's something that is going to give you a sane mind. Yes. And I think that's the best. I remember back in last year, we, went, we did a Gong Hill hike. hike. Yes. And in my life, I've never gone that far. Yes. It yeah. was so stressed, if, but I had to push myself. Finish. You know, by the second hill, I was so tired, I was so worn out. <laughs> but I did it to the last hill. Until the next gate. Yes, and came back. Yeah. Using the same, same route, not even using the shortcut. By that time, they had closed that gate. Yes. So we had to come, come back. back. So wow. we had to go back the seven hills. Wow. So those are 14, like going and eh. back, you know. Yes. And that was the best day ever in my life. And so I got tired and I had pain all over in my body. Yes. It was my best time. And actually, they say it's seven hits, but there are more. I swear I went to... <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're in Kenya and you haven't gone to Ngong Hills, you're missing out. I swear I went the first one. I was like, mm. I'll try. The second hill, Ngong Hills. I swear, huh, those hills. If you have finished Ngong Hills to and fro, mm. but then 
next day you cannot even walk yeah is it walk. See, it's true yeah you can really not walk uh pamela says always face your fears and find a professional psychologist to help you go through your fears or depression. depression yeah yes. do you know i've started my my journey of facing my fears mm. i'm facing my fears right now i'm doing i'm i think in my fourth fourth day of facing my fears wow I'm trying to do workout. I'm trying to push. The time for the time we had pandemic. What time did you wake up? I used to wake up at ten. Ten. Mm. When we started live stream, when we started going live to give exercises and, and everything, that time I was waking up by seven. By six thirty, I was up. By seven, you're starting the workout. Yeah. But now after we we, we finished that part and now we started going back to our usual. I oh, can't, usually, I yeah. can't, I can't wake up. And yeah, yeah. I'll just wake up and go back to sleep. Mm. So I want to take myself back to working out in the morning as usual. I want to be fit. I want to be active and I want to have a sane mind. Yeah. And through that, I decided now I'll be waking up, take a shower. Yes. And at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I have to look smart. Yes. Wake up, put some makeup, clean myself. Make sure I'm smart. You feel as if you're going somewhere, even if you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Just be the you. Face your fears. Do things that you feel that you're scared. I'm not going to achieve. But now you push, you want to achieve what you yeah. wanted. Yeah. But I think the corona pandemic really changed us. Because I think like us, we are used to watching movies up to until five in the morning. Mm-hmm. So that means you wake up what time? Ten. Ten. So I think we're still trying to come back to the usual waking up at six, waking up at five, and uh, getting, really getting back to track. And one thing that I've, I've also like learned nowadays, like if you don't want to go back to bed, wake up, make your bed, go have a shower. Yeah. There's no way you can go back to that bed. Definitely. Because when you don't make the bed, you get out, you start taking tea, you feel lazy, you go back to that bed. But like wake up, Make your bed. I think uh, making your bed first of all, that even if you have a bad day, you'll go back to a well-made bed. Imagine oh, going back. To, <laughs> imagine going back. Imagine coming back from work. It was a tired day. It was a messed up day, and then you come back. You didn't make your bed. Then you need to make your bed again and sleep. It's just okay. You just put yourself in the sheets again. There it is. And the turn. <laughs> yeah, it's warmer than <laughs> doing your bed and doing. Then it is. Yeah. So Pamela Vrogi saying last month they lost a colleague. Oh my. Because of depression, and wow. the guy killed himself because of some financial what? Because of family issues, couple, couples with delayed salaries. Yeah. Exactly. I'm so sorry. So imagine. Imagine, mm. Im- imagine, you you can't pay the bill, and I can't feel it in any way. Yeah. What are we going to do? I'm I'm telling you. Let me tell you to deal with, especially financial drop dropping. Mm-hmm. You're used to maybe getting hundred k a month. Now you're getting ten k a month. It's really depressing. Mm-hmm. And you really need to be strong to be able to cope with depression, especially caused by finances. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think the first thing is accepting the situation. Mm-hmm. Accept it. I'm, 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 I'm broke. Mm-hmm. I'm broke. What will I do next? Other than killing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So what is Mokazi saying? Mokazi uh, is saying... Yeah, Shimoas, Shimoas are giving themselves four, four billions for, for their, their cars. cars. Uh-huh. Money that can buy 20 dialysis machines for every, wow, top hospital in the country. Imagine. And they said Kenya doesn't have money. And, and um, yeah, Shimoas are being given cars, surely. They, they only care about themselves. They don't care about you. Who are you? Uh, they don't know you. Yeah. It's so, so bad that our country is really struggling. They're selling for us masks. They're selling for us sanitizers. And most of us have been given cars. I don't know which kind of country we are really in, but... Uh, bucket list is saying, Mimi, I started make, uh, doing makeup and wearing dresses that I love in the house. I felt so much better. I, I tell you, bucket list says, this girl, <laughs> I wish you can enter... Uh, her channel and see how she does her lives. Makeup, a, a good background, a flower there. <laughs> She's <laughs> all smiling. Look at this sex. Are you? You're doing well, my my girl. You're doing well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Emily Odor says hi, ladies. Hi, hi. dear. How hi, are Emily. you? 
welcome to my channel please mm -hmm. share out share me out share me out share me out share my link uh -huh. that four million they want to spend in cars can add to a salary so that our front health care workers can have a better living yeah exactly <sighs> but it's kenya for you what can we do yeah thanks a karibu bucket list sex you hey 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 <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Bucket list says. says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dayo. Okay. Uh, Mokazi says the two leaders, two ladies here, both lost their jobs and businesses. They are here to stay sane. I swear, if yeah. you see, I opened my channel during the pandemic period. Mm -hmm. If you know. This channel, me and Simple ADP, mm -hmm. she also has her own channel. Any anyway, we did it to keep sane. Yeah. And that's why you see on the screen, we have put my MPESA number and SendWave <laughs> number. If you please support us. If you're so, touched by God. If you're touched by our, our channel, our conversation, please support us. Uh, so that's why I say it like, um, any don't give up. Because you lost a job, mm -hmm. don't give up. Try to find something else mm -hmm. to do. Kindly try finding else something else to do. Yeah. Uh says says I'm loving this topic so much and Delaney he will evil. Thank you, says we um, will. Uh the Makazi says myself, if I don't go crazy, then God, God is great. great. Uh -huh. sure. And Broad says their the priority is, is BBI. BBI. Very, very true. Very true. Um, but you know the government or the politicians currently we have, they just want to have for their own. Yeah. They are keeping for themselves. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you should know that people chose you not to build you. Yeah. But for you to build them, help yes. them build the society. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. So tell me, come is it twenty twenty two? Yeah. We are voting again. Who will want to have you as a leader, whereas you can't help, you can't chip in, you want a car. Whereas people in your county they are dying. Exactly. Taking hours to be even treated malaria, even even stomach upset or a flu, people are dying. And yet you're here, you want a car. What for? At the end of the day, that car will kill you. Yeah. If you want to have a speed and it kills you, the it's got a curse. People will curse you. Imagine. You will, and do you know people's curse is the worst thing ever? It's the it's worst, the worst thing. thing. Yeah, people cursing yeah. is the worst thing ever. Yeah. I so, saw Mokazi is saying, if I didn't go crazy, then God is great. Mm -hmm. I've never been so broke in my entire life. Mm -hmm. The hardest part was even taking my kids from top school, Riara, and taking them to public school because I couldn't afford. Imagine taking a child from Riara. Who knows? Hey, I can comment down below if you know Riara. Any, it's a every parent's dream school. There they talk fluent English. They, they speak. Any, they eat anything they want. And then taking them to a public school is so depressing. But uh, the Mokazis, I would like to say that keep holding, keep praying, keep believing, keep trusting. Any God, any God works in just one day. Yeah. Just one day, God can change your life completely. So I think it's just keeping the trust and believing in God. Any, there's nothing God cannot do, I swear. Just keep trusting. And sorry for that. Uh, Bakali says, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry Mokazi. Things will get better. Um, that's, uh, that's a positive encouragement yeah i swear in this life mm -hmm. this life only accommodates strong people if you're not strong simple adp you cannot make it in this life even if you you are broke you have only 20 shillings in your pocket mm -hmm. just wake up take a shower mm -hmm. put good clothes mm -hmm. put perfume smell good put mm -hmm. makeup as bucket list says glamps herself up mm -hmm. face that day any of the rest will follow and just be happy, put good music that's going to motivate you. That's not mm -hmm. the time for you to put music that you're going to make you cry. Just put music that's going to hype you up. For me, I feel like music is one thing that has made me become sane. Mm -hmm. Like I have a uh, specific artist that I, I listen to when, uh, like when I feel down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So get to know what do you like. Like me, I love music so much. Mm -hmm. So the first thing after everything I do, just put loud music, listen to it as I do my daily stuff. Wow. Yeah. So Makazi says, gym or close, climb social distance themselves. So I was just indoors 
thank God for my fitness channel that, that kept, kept me, me sane. sane. And yeah. calmly saying, we are still on strike, no sleep. In fact, our sleep is 0.00, oh, no dime, no any coin. January, no salary. February, yeah. bad. That's why I post regularly just to stay sane. Family vlog, yet car, car grants, grants has to be approved. It saddens Mokazi so much. Yeah, that is Kenya. That is... Uh, any, hey, any depression is You know, is people real. are going through a lot. People are it's going just that people can't just tell you... People can't come out and tell you the, the problems they're facing. Yeah. You see, even these people who are millionaires who have money in their account. Maybe you're a person who usually have like 8 million in your account and now you have 1 million. You'll be stressed. You die of stress. That's why I say, please check up on your friends. Check up on your friends. But Regularly. now, that is when no friends who say they're friends or genuine friends, they come around. But a true, <laughs> a true friend, let me tell you, a true friend, even if he or she doesn't support you through money, through yeah. any being with you. Exactly. It doesn't have I to know. be about money. You know, I know. If you say have friends who check on you. Mm. There are friends who are there just to make you happy. If you have, Dayo, if I don't have anything right now, mm. there's someone who can stand by me or be near me, even be my friend because yes. I don't have. Yes. They will distance themselves from you because you're no longer cutting. You're no longer buying these gifts to them. You're no longer road tripping together. You know, they feel that I don't want this person who can't help me. Yes. If there is a friend who can't even call and check on you because now you've lost, you have no financial upkeep, you don't have anything, why waste my coin calling you? No, very true. Yeah. Uh, like, like I said, me, there was a year that I almost took my life. Why? And it's a, it's a whole lot of story on its own. I got a baby when I was uh, any of the peak of my youth. Any when I was a two youth, even as a mm -hmm. teenager, mm -hmm. and then bam. You have a baby. You, you have a baby, okay? So this thing really, really depressed me that I almost killed myself. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, through the way, I really got to got some people that mm -hmm. up to now, mm -hmm. they check on me. Okay? And there was a time I was putting like medicine here I want to swallow. Then but I call, you remember that baby you have. I call enters. I call enters. Mm -hmm. Heidi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Can you get go get some coffee? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, let me go get that coffee. Then I come and kill myself. Kill later. myself. <laughs> but this person, imagine, uh -huh. like let me go take let me go take the coffee. Then I come. I put the the drugs aside. Then I go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I go and we have a good time. Mm -hmm. That person like. Buys for me coffee, takes me through, tells me about plants that we'll do another day. And I'm like, okay, I need to hold on to finish these plants. I kill myself. Then you kill yourself. And I swear, anytime I try to take drugs, mm -hmm. a phone will come. And that's how God has his own way. You know, this kid wants you. So if you kill yourself, he's going to take care of the exactly. kid. Exactly. So at the end of the day, I was like, I was like, at the end of the day, if I die, it's my child's going to suffer. Because exactly. at the end of the day, a child needs you. Mm -hmm. A child needs your presence, and if you kill yourself, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. then who is going to who is going to, to support the child? No one. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I'm playing I'm playing jackpot. Ndomoka before midnight. All <laughs> depression. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Until you're paying jackpot you pay. until I'm before midnight. All depression <laughs> gone pop. By the way, it's always good to think in a positive way. You don't know where you're. Yeah, Pablo Kishinda jackpot. Nikumbuke. Utukumbuke. Ustuache. Tuke moka chuna moka wote. Uh, Mokaji says, family bro, get to have a, a family, family that, that depends, depends on you. you. As a man, you, you feel, feel twice depressed, depressed when, when you can't provide. provide. Yeah, it's so... Eh. And you know this depression is generally, it's consuming the male species. The son of Habakkuk is the one who is more stressed because for a woman, all you need, women, we are also stressed. There are women who provide for their own kids. They, we have the single parenting the single mothers, you know, yes. they have to provide. But now this man who is here, he has a family, he has he has to provide. And this son of Habakkuk has to do all it needs. And and you know some women don't have chills. They'll yeah. start even asking for money to go treat their friends. 
Whereas even you don't have pampas for the baby. Imagine. You don't have even milk for Actually, the breakfast. baby, hair, f- money for nails. Baby, money for... I need to make my hair. And you know my hair costs 5000 to make. Let's not depress our men. You know, they also have feelings. Yeah. We need to treat them like human beings. We need to understand. If you don't have... Come up on Ogeri Kwa Nyumba, my sister, just either to Ogeri. One day God will open the doors. I in think the Ugeri. another thing about depression yeah. is you don't, you're not contented yeah. with what you have at the moment. Mm-hmm. Be contented. Come on, today it's kuma that is there. Eat it unapologetically. Don't use struggle as much as you have meat. Mm-hmm. As much you have. If you get that food on the table, just thank God because there are other people that don't have that food. Can I tell you one funny thing? Yes. I remember there's a day we had 20 bob. Two days. 20 dollars. No money, no nothing. We never gave up. And we had to sit down and think this is what we have. Yes. If you get mad at me, no, my husband was telling me, if you get mad at me, at the end of the day, you're going to kill me. Mm. So the only way is you supporting me and give me the morale. You know, yeah. psych me up. Even if I'm not, I don't want that psych for making noise and jumping around and cuddling and everything. Mm. Try give me a sane environment for me to be able to think and focus on what you're going to do. Imagine. And you know, with that, you just have to give this person peace of mind without even asking for more. Yeah. And you know, for that 20 bob we had, we were torn on what to eat. Mind you, that time we didn't have anything. When I say anything, we just had salt. So you don't have cooking oil. You have only salt and gas. Yeah. You have nothing else. So what did we do? I took the 20 bob. We pretended that we are going outside for a walk. Outside the gate. If you come to the place where I was living by then, if I told you I don't have money, you wouldn't believe. Exactly. We don't have money. Yeah. That time we had 20 bob only. But we say it to God. God, this 20 bob that we have, it's only you who is going to multiply multiply it for us. You know us. We give when we have. We don't have. We, didn't, we don't force people. You yes, see? Yes, yes. We went and bought beans outside the gate for those people. You know, in a construction site, there is that mama who comes and cooks chapati, beans, gideri, ugari, yeah, such things. Yeah. Eh? So we went to that, I went to that lady and I was so smiling and I'm like, hi mom, you know what? Uh, I want beans. And that lady told me, um, I'm sorry, you know what you have to do? You have to, I have to weigh for you the beans, how we do it. I have mm. to give you the measure that's supposed to. So one, one spoon, one serving spoon goes for 15 shillings. Oh my. And I have 20 bob, remember that? Yeah. And by such time, the 20 bob you have you're worried, now this 20 bob, I will buy the fifth, one, st- one serving spoon. Will it be eaten by me? Or it's my oh, husband is going to eat? Yeah. But that lady, it's as if God sent, just sent his angels. And that lady gave us two spoons. Yeah. Said, ah, because we didn't know, I'll give you two spoons. Imagine. Do you know that day we ate beans with nothing? That day, lunchtime, we ate beans with nothing. Imagine. I swear, but but do you know by the time it was in the evening, yeah, God came again for us. Someone sent him money, and we had to do shopping for two weeks. Imagine from twenty bob, from nothing to to something. To something. That's why I say, no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you're going through in life, Mm -hmm. keep trusting, keep hoping, keep believing, keep praying. Any God, you just sleep today poor. Tomorrow you wake up with a million in your account. But that only you have faith in God. Uh, Shiragaki says, Here are the Mwakazis who see the future Kesho. A miracle, a miracle might, might happen. happen. You never know. That's true. And Mwakazi says, Family, you need to connect with Shiragaki. She's very supportive. Yeah, she's an amazing. Uh, Mwakazi says, At he, Tomorrow I don't know where I will hide. Apart from it being Valentine, it's my daughter's birthday. Oh my, happy birthday to your daughter. Happy birthday to her. And uh, Valentine, <laughs> Mrs. Mokazi and Ataka Maua. <laughs> but don't worry, it shall I'm be okay. It shall be fine. You know, as long as you have happiness in you yeah. and you're okay, you're contented. Yeah. You don't need to push. You don't your need to pressure to your level. partner. Yeah. You know, it, it can make up 
for it on another day. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in the Valentine. And as long as somebody loves you, it doesn't mean that you give them the pressure for Valentine. If you're not given flower, who will know? If you're given, does everyone know? <laughs> and who these know? flowers are going to wither. Within a day, they will wither. Yeah. But I'm just telling you not to take your girlfriends out. But if you don't have, stick to your Yeah. Limits. If you can be able to take your girlfriend somewhere tomorrow, take her. If you don't have the capability... <laughs> Actually, actually, <laughs> Mokaze is saying at Maua, no one can a bunch of skuma wiki. Oh my! <laughs> but that's the best Maua you can ever give to a person because it's edible. You're not going to eat rose flowers. Uh, a bunch of skuma wiki you're going to prepare for dinner, <laughs> and you're going to share together. I'm not going to eat alone, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, guy, family blog says Aki God is great. Three K imengia as consultation fee. Sick one expect at least kesho ni jaza my 13 kg gas depression imepungua kias god See? god above all any god i work just what i was talking to you can any hey mm-hmm. anything can happen kama say hizi nime yani niko chini but i know by tomorrow mm-hmm. god will do what he does yeah so if you want to support me my mpesa number is there my sendwave number is there you can support me in anything support us me and simple ADP <laughs> in anything you can. Bucket list is saying Mokaz read her a poem. Yeah. By the way, he's a good uh he's a good writer. Wow. He writes. So for me, all I want is just a time together as a family. Nothing much. Yeah. I hope you're going to make it to our daughter. Sing for her, have good and sweet yeah. memory. Yeah. And with Straight that, up. things will things will be okay. Yeah. It's the only fun you can give. You know, it's always good. You know, the parents who think that uh, treating their kids is buying them expensive gifts. I mm. buy you a PS whatever, 4 or something, PS5 for a game. Maybe buy you these expensive dolls, do this for you. But if that kid has no morals, that person won't appreciate even the gift yeah. you give. Yeah. So it comes from your heart. So we are praying so hard that birthday to be from the heart, sure. from the parents' heart to our kids. To the kids. She's so precious. And from our mouth understand. to God's ears. God, yes. Jenny, do something. Yes. Do something. Yes. Do something for yes. us, for our lives, for our future. Uh, Sheila Gaki, family vlog, sure thing. Uh, Mokazi says, but she understands, my wife understands all the many places I've taken her before COVID. Uh, Mokazi says, I need an interview at this channel, Niwambi, how last year was. Yani, you are most, most welcome. We will do a live with you and explain to people how it went and how you cope with all that. Yeah. Yeah, we are still on uh, depression in relationships yeah. and depression in schools. Can you let us know your feedback? Can you let us know what you learned, what, want us to talk about? Mm-hmm. Uh, and as you enter like our life and support us as the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, yeah. uh, I have something to say. Uh, when it comes to depression in school, as a student, most of the students here, or most of the people who are students, do you know we have students who are parents also? Yes. You have this semester and you have to join. Yeah. What will happen? Okay. You need school fees? And if you drop, okay, you know, there are some people who say, maybe this semester I'm going to retake it next year. Let me just for now hold it up until all things go well. Yeah. So you get yourself, you're going to engage your mind on how you're going to save that coin or how you're going to make that coin for you to be able to support others to do it and you not to do it. Because you look for money to make sure your family or your kids have gone back to school. For you, you can just hold it up because... You won't, you won't die at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, Akot TV, hi, how are you? Hi, hey, Akot. One of my favorite YouTubers is here. Uh-huh. And Akot, Akot TV. Says, Depression is a serious thing, and I think the best way to live life is just take life easy. I mean, we all are asking, and if a relationship doesn't work, leave it. I always say this you don't need to stay in a toxic relationship because of something yes. even if this person is supporting you mm-hmm. in money or what because sometimes money or the kids are what makes somebody stay in a relationship if this thing is toxic if this yeah. thing is not giving you happiness mm-hmm. if this thing is depriving you from your own peace leave like i always say mm-hmm. just tell them it was good we met but 
Bye. Let's yeah. It's the only way. Like bye. And do you know there are people who get to a relationship thinking that all is roses. You might see someone driving the best car in town and you think, oh God, Nimeangukia, my friend. Try to think. What are you giving in this relationship? What are you giving? Are you worth it? Are you worth to this person? Yeah. And that's why you see most of the people say that, hey, you know, I've been good, I've been cleaning, I've been washing, I've been doing this and this and this, and now my husband wants to leave me. Do you know the reason why he wants to leave you? Maybe you've been giving pressure. You don't give that person peace of mind. Peace of mind. A men only think. need peace. You see? Men need peace. You're not giving this person peace. So this person, as I keep another lady who is ready to cuddle, give him that peace of mind, massage his mind or head or body or whatever. Yeah. For sure he will leave you. He will. Yeah. And you'll be busy <laughs> saying in Kilimani moms, Dayo leave my husband alone. The kids are suffering. They have no but you're the one who chased him out. Imagine. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I caught TV. Did you guys plan to wear red? Red? We have, are we, I mean black. She's meant black. Imagine we did not plan. I wore black when she also wore black. We never planned. <laughs> I'm going to ask her one question. Why did you visit me wearing black? <laughs> Imagine I was just wearing black and she was wearing the same. We never planned, but mm, the connection, the connection. Uh, Mokazi is asking, for the very first time in my entire adult years, last year I spent at home. Was used to Mombasa, Dar es Salaam game drives, but last year was indoors. indoors. And Pamli says, uh, Pam says, guys, I'm rushing to hospital. A friend's kid has been admitted joining you. Oh, it's thank okay, you so Pamli. much, We appreciate Pamli. so much. Yeah. Kindly. Yani, go take care of that kid. And, uh, Life is important. That yeah, we love what you're doing for that. Yes. Uh, so coming back to... Ako TV, uh, yeah. TV says, are you two neighbors? No, we live like two hours. Two hours. Drive. Drive. <laughs> two hours drive, but... She lives in one corner of Nairobi. I live in the other central part of Nairobi. Imagine. But I had to come see her and... Spending the night, nights, spending the nights here, literally. <laughs> What's her friends for? Yeah, yeah, I get to share what I'm going through. We get to share, we get to motivate each other through the YouTube journey, through the journey of life. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, uh, Dayo lives very far, but it's but among. It, it's among the two friends we have left. Oh, Guys, well, let me tell you, you one thing. <laughs> and I'm honestly speaking about this. Just know who your friends are. Let your friends meet you at your lowest and meeting friends at your highest. Because when you go low, they'll all leave you. Yes. Uh, think of last year and some years back. We had so many friends. If you came in my house, you could think it's a helping center. Do you know that? We had all types. In fact, ours, it was even a country by its own because we had all tribes of in Kenya house. in my house. Yes. And all of them stayed fed, drank, everything in my house. And I was not asking for anything, or we were not asking for anything. We would squeeze ourselves like orbits. You know the way orbit is packed four by four? Yeah. We would sleep like that, yeah. me, because we want to accommodate everybody. Mm. But I was so shocked. Come last year, when we lost our business, not even Corona, we're not even, you know, we're not even going to Talking talk about, about corona, corona now. Yeah. We lost our business, and Mind you, we had the littlest ever, but still we were welcoming people. Yeah. Do you know all friends left us? Yeah. Some friends came and some, among the friends who came, they were fake and they all left. Yeah. Living even with more pain than they found you. Imagine. You know, a friend gives you an idea and that friend leaves you in even in more pain. Yeah. You know, mm. but I'm so happy I have two friends. So. Yeah. Akot TV is saying, how do you collabo all the time? Akot, have you ever heard that when a woman loves a man, he doesn't ask for fear? Even if he's living in America, you will pay the flight and go there. So that's what happens with me coming to <laughs> Simple Lady P's house, the Mokazi's house. I always create time to come and see them. Yeah. I always create time. And he's saying, next 
I got to be saying next, I'm coming for sleepover. Can they come? Can they come? And Makazi says, she's an amazing, and this is when you know your true friends. Imagine Tala Tal with Naomi lives in Kitangela, but, but comes, comes all the way, all the way to, to Juja. Juja. Yeah. And that's why we had her yes, uh, last last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, we had her last weekend. Not Uncle, last weekend, <laughs> last, the other weekend, the previous weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So I got TV, I feel free to come. Come join us. Come and spend a day with us. I got TV, Nyalo. Yeah. I need you. I need to do a collab with this amazing lady. Do you know our lady that calls you and tells you like, D, mm. you're playing. Mm. I need a video. Mm -hmm. Why have you not dropped a video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's the Yani account, like, you need to do 60 videos for you to get monetized. Yani, she's somebody that really pushes me in. Yani, Paco, you're like, I'm joking. And that's the mm? kind of friends. These are the kind need. of friends that we need. Yeah, because a friend who tells you, you know, uh, let me send you 1,000 shillings. You sort yourself out to see what. That's not our friend. Yeah. We would rather have friends who help you. Push you to your, get your, your own, comfort zone. Yeah, get your own fish than giving you a fish and she or he will not be there to give you the next fish. Yeah. So I, that, that, that's okay. Mokazi is, is saying, I caught TV, when you come in here, you're spending two nights minimum. I swear, better carry your clothes though. Because here, yeah, when you come... <laughs> <laughs> we are good people there. Mm. They're good people, but they will put your clothes in water. You won't go if you don't have clothes. So <laughs> why are you burning now? You better come with your own clothes and better spend two nights minimum. You're most welcome, Akot. Akot, you're welcome. In fact, I'd love to know more about going Mayolo. You know, we need to Yeah. Hey, my court is a super lady. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of how far your channel any. So proud of you. Yeah. So you're welcome anytime. So as I was saying, this is the best time to evaluate yourself. You know, in life, God gives you time to think, have your own you time. Maybe God saw that these people have been suffering so much. They have never had their meeting. They have never thought of themselves. Uh -huh. So let me give this strike. And deceiving your bad friends. Yeah. God just sent that strike to come. Let this, you're going to lose this, you're going to, so that you learn to say, to stay alone. You know, mm. you have to learn and plan your life apart from other people. Do you have a life of your own? Maybe God saw that we are more of people person than me and my husband. Yeah. So God said, I want to put you together, think together and reason together. Yes. Let not wealth or money yes. make you live. You're just living. You have no time for each other. You see? Mm. And that's when now God helps you to see mm. The God is the sieve God now. sieves any situations in life. Sieve. Yes. Like, they hey, sieve up. How I've suffered this corona period, I've known my true friends. This corona time, I've known my... My phone was constantly ringing. One hour, D, what's the plan? D, what's this? D, weekend, my house, I have friends. But during mm -hmm. the COVID time, people know you don't have a job. People know you, like you're literally falling apart. Sometimes I caught... Uh, Sometimes you don't see me like posting videos. Sometimes I might be going through some things that don't give me the vibe to take videos, mm -hmm. don't give me the vibe to edit. But I was like, anyway, I opened this channel. I need to work on it. And yeah. I'm back on track because of people who democracy push, push me. Ako TV pushes me. Bucket list says any to mention among among many that really push me. And I'm grateful of, of you. And then Ako says, then we make 20 videos right. Yes. Come, push us. Come, mama. Come, 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 come. I need a collab with you. I need that push. I need that. And I need that. Yeah. <laughs> she need the dose. I need that dose. You're going to do 20 videos and get monetized. <laughs> yeah, so uh, depression. You're talking about depression. Yes. Depression during the COVID time. Depression, uh, Depression in relationship, depression in school. Kindly let me know your feedback. Kindly let me know what you have gone through. A court, what might have you gone through uh, during the like the COVID times? What I what what I I I currently tell myself is, I wake up very okay. I don't wake. I'm not a very early morning person. Yes, but I like waking up with a vibe. Yes. Like, I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to a point that even my husband sometimes asks me, hey, Bana, you have you have to calm down. Yeah. Relax. Reduce the, the sickness. You're coming too much. You're you coming know? too much. 
because sometimes I end up being so psyched up. Yeah. I feel like putting music and blasting everything and singing and dancing and I'm like, yo, yeah. you know, I have to give myself this motivation. Yeah. Imagine tell me, staying in a house where you're low and I'm low. We all have no mood. We have no psych. We have one has to be here and the other one here, but not to the extreme. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's what keeps me going. Of late, I'm so full of energy. I even don't think of stress anymore. Yeah. We have Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Vanessa. Welcome. And let's know what do you think about depression in relationship and depression in school. Vanessa Ogunboale. This is two, three, four. My country people, Nigeria. Karibu, yes. how you day, how far? Mm -hmm. Welcome to our channel. Kindly, kindly share, share, share us out. Share us out. Yeah. Apart TV, TV says, by the way, depression is real and most of it you can't help it. See you couple breaking up and even children hurting their own parents. Depression is a big problem to our society today. Very true. Loss of jobs, why it is it's tough. tough. Yeah. Very true. We it lost our any ukituana pasisi ni jobless. <laughs> I'm not jobless. I have a job. I have to give myself a job. Yes. <laughs> I have I have to claim it. But then this year is my year of doing things. Last year was the year it was a stepping stone for my problems, for my stress, for my depression, for my everything. This year I'm coming in full swing. You're coming. We are, we are coming, coming hard. Uh, I'm Sheila says what? I'm loving your message, Lady P. A push from a friend is always super awesome, as Dio says. Yeah. Yeah. Any push. If you see somebody is not doing well, push them. Huh? If you see the video is not well, like Accord says, she tells you if your video is bad, she talks about it and then says Accord TV has spoken. And she gives you like feedback that video was bad. <laughs> it was bad. If you want yeah, to me at me. I, I, I remember there is a day she told me. What did she tell me? There's one of my videos she commented. I think it was our, our first time to interact with. And she said something about my video. Do you know I had to take it? Oh, she told me I speak slowly. Mm. She's the kind of person. She said that video was bad. You speak slowly. Oh, it was my recap video. Mm. She's you speaking slowly and you're you're breaking up. So you have to to speak to be audible and i loved it yeah yeah it's true just tell your people yeah just tell them the truth um, uh sheila said something uh it's the mokazi i'm loving yeah okay it's the mokazi yeah we pray that you're well and living your best life now and on your own terms yeah true yeah uh Co tv says honestly i consider myself very lucky i take a day at a time and i try not to worry about anything. If I can't handle it, I leave it alone. True. Very true. Very true. Mm. I think that's the best thing. You live a day at a time. Just live a day at a time. Just live a day at a time. You want trust God. You want you want that you want a coin to buy uh you want a coin to buy a dress. You have an event coming next Friday and you don't have money. So are you going to kill yourself because you don't have? No, you cannot. Put what you have, what you think is decent. Yes. Let it come from your heart. Yes. You'll go to this party without that new dress, but give it your whole. You you went there with love. Yes. You know, not yes. a dress. And exactly. I think women, as mostly women, we should learn to live with what we have, not faking life. Stop faking that. Oh, you know, my husband went to Uganda last month. He has not come back because there's a lockdown. That's why I didn't make to come to your party. That's why I didn't manage to buy a dress. Oh, you know, mm -mm. <laughs> my friend, live to your own standards. Yeah, live to your own. don't force what? life. Yeah. yeah, don't force life. Yeah. So we're continuing with our topic, depression. Uh, Vanessa, tell us about depression in relationship. How do you deal with depression in relationship? How do you deal with depression in school or at school? Yes. A court asked, how do you tell a relative who constantly asks for help? They also should know that you have problems that you're undergoing. They should also strive hard and help you. Do you know there are relatives who always depend on one person? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. Like, Dayo, I want to give me 2,000. Dayo, I want to give me this. Dayo, I want to give me... When will they ever mm -hmm. give you? When? But I think it's so bad to always put pressure on people to support you when when maybe they don't have and 
We all have problems. Yeah, everybody's everybody is dealing with something and just don't put pressure on people. You make them de- depre- even depressed even more. Imagine asking me for 1,000 and I don't even have that 1,000 myself. You're making me depressed. Imagine have a re- having a relative who can never help you. You have been helping them throughout. Mm. And now it's your turn to ask for help. Yeah. They'll see you as if you're crazy. Yeah. You ask for, how do you ask for help? You're the person who helps us. So how are we going to I'm help? Going to help. And you think, you know, most of them think, if this guy was helping us, even with the least years, like 10,000, yeah. and now I come asking for your help, mm. and you think, oh, this guy was giving us 10,000, 20,000, now he needs our help. And maybe he wants 100,000 or something. I can't even afford, even that one shilling, Imagine. give even that 200, Imagine. tell him, yeah. this is all I have for now. Have yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sheila Gaki says, this song, I can't kill myself for allow me to rest. Oh, yeah, this life, I can't kill myself. Oh. I can't kill myself. <laughs> allow me to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah, don't kill yourself because of life situations. Just uh, take one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Mokazi says, nobody can understand your broke They see a Mercedes Benz parked outside your house. Our Jewy are in a fuel. <laughs> oh. You said a spare tire. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> but but then again, for me, I like I'm like I always get be beautifully broke. Just because you're broke doesn't mean you don't have to shower, dress well, put your makeup, face the day. That's what I say. Lift yourself up. Now if you wake up, you don't want to shower, you don't want to wash your house, then how would you stay? <laughs> Just be beautifully broke. <laughs> Dress well, step outside with the 20 shillings and face the day. And do you know the women who do that? But most of the women who do that, the women who go to clubbing. Not you clubbing. Know, no, I'm saying, mm. if you tell a woman right now she wants a dress for the party or she wants to do some funny, funny things, she'll just say, ah, 20 bob, what will 20 bob help me? But if you call that lady to go out and have drinks with you, Atakama, she has that 20 bob. She will make sure she will reach there. <laughs> but she can't use that 20 bob to buy something sensible. Yeah. She will make sure she will use that 20 bob to come and have free drinks or go hunting. Imagine. Ah, no. A court says there's a cousin of mine who used to call me all, all the, the time, time asking for money. One day she got me the wrong time. Why I told her I am not a bank <laughs> and she must never call me again for, to money. Ask for money. Yeah, you're not Except equity. You're not equity. You don't need to. But then you have to be able to You mm. know, sometimes the, it's a behavior. Yeah. Some people it's a behavior. Sometimes mm. it's, it's it's true you don't have. Mm-hmm. But some people it's a behavior mm-hmm. that you know that this person always mm-hmm. borrows money. If you see their call, you just know it's money. That and if you see that call, you can never ask you. Anyhow, are you the next thing? Can you help me with 1000? Am I equipped? No, they don't start like that. They start with, How are you? Hey, how are you? You've been good. Oh my god, how are you doing? Mm. Can I ask for a favor? Yes, <laughs> come on tomorrow. Can I ask you for a favor? It will be so many. Mokazi says, We'll shock you at how many relatives are literally blocked. People you have paid their fees up to university and got them jobs, but they ask them for 200 bob when broke. They just protect you. I saw that last week. There's, there's something I learned in life. When you help somebody, just help them and just leave, leave them. Because them most alone. of the people don't appreciate you at all. Yeah. They don't remember the things you did them did mm-hmm. to them. You support them and then they leave. Yani, they cannot support <laughs> you back, surely. And then they're saying I will block, block them and block afford. all of them. <laughs> block all of them. Including you are CEO of your life. <laughs> if somebody does not, if somebody does not help you, block them. <laughs> life is fun. Unapologetically block anyone that doesn't help you in your life. Kabisa, block them. Kabisa, kabisa. Yeah. So how do you have to keep yourself sane to avoid having stress? I think you really need to know what are your interests. Yes. As a person, what do you like? Okay? Like yeah. me, I said, I love, I love listening to music. Yes. For me, the first time, even the first thing to do can be just putting my music on. Yeah. Even before I have to brush my teeth, before I have to shower, yeah. before I take breakfast, I have to put my music on. Yeah. While I'm cooking, get to know what lifts up your soul. That's yeah. how one thing that 
will help you coping cope with depression yeah for me it's music for another person is traveling yeah. for another person is reading yeah. for another person is even having that one hour nap yeah and sleeping getting rest mm-hmm. so get to know what is it that you like and then it will help you be able to cope with depression how do you cope with depression yourself what are your interests of late uh, okay long ago some few months ago i would love to watch all the youtubers i know yeah but sometimes i come to the realize not all youtubers are too like watching that there you get stressed yes in terms of i will go to a court tv channel and she's showing me how she has gone to do a haul in uh what is dubai it? not even in dubai mm-hmm. somewhere along somewhere somewhere you're going to do a to maybe rivers. a shopping haul into rivers yeah you know mm-hmm. and then kidogo kidogo i will go watch queen dayoshi's showing me how how i spend my day you're stressed so what do you do will you continue watching for so me, what i thought mm-hmm. and what i came up with my mind is i'll watch what i want at the time that i want so most of the time you get me watching i watch even you can just find me sometimes in the house me and my kids we are seated there and we are watching tv cartoon to have that same i don't want to continue adding in injuries in myself watching people's vlogs that they're showing me whereas i'm depressed i'm stressed i don't have i want to be like them but i can't afford for now so what do you do yeah. you just switch off to something that it's not even going to make you feel relaxed and forget your problem for some time yeah i love singing and dancing around and having fun most of the time you get me outside now i'm farming vegetables i've learned how to be a good farmer you can't just sit in the house and watch the whole day raise your body up go to the farm at least learn how to plant sukuma wiki yeah dania you yeah. know these simple simple things cut nyasi and everything mm. i'm learning that True. and with that to find of late my mind is very so i'm even able to think i'm sending cv everywhere i'm thinking of i want to send a cv to this place i want to you do this i want to do this 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 you are sending 20 30 cvs in a day and even no one is even telling you received we appreciate no one what will you do will you kill yourself okay. so you need to be sane yeah 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 kindly uh if you want to support us you have our impesa number there send to can be support us if you can uh mokazi says their friends who can stick closer than your own blood relatives very true yeah He said some YouTubers will just show you the flashy side but never the other broke side. Yeah. And he also said that most will make you think you are the only one who is broke. It's true. Yani you see danganyo internet life. Most of the people are faking it. Uh Ako TV says okay ladies I have to go now stay blessed. Thank you so much Ako TV for watching. Thank you for being with us up to this far. Please share us out. Share us out as we continue with our live. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Ako TV. So we will go to celebrate that fish. Yeah. In Kitengela we will go. In Kitengela we call I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> we will go celebrate that fish. I don't give what's her name? Masiatiz. Masiatiz yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's an awesome lady. And you know mm-hmm. there are people who live a fake life. And do you know that fake life that you're living will cause you more damage than even depression? Exactly. Hey, yeah, nakwambia yani never never kill yourself because of internet life. Most of these people out here are faking shit. Never be any yani repeat. Usikuwe depressed because of internet life. Are you seeing people ujaiona that like one Hennessy bottle it mm-hmm. will be posted by 20 people. They will share it. They will share it. Mm-hmm. And maybe when the Hennessy bottle inside it is KC or water or water <laughs> no because of the color they just buy a, fa- a cheap kc uh-huh. 800 put it in the nsc bottle take vlogs you are there depressed how can they afford 10000 to buy nsc yet the same picture it's being used by 20 people where i know people have a fake life it's the instagram i've come to realize people live a fake life in instagram 
Because you see someone taking a photo of Siju Wapi or Siju you have gone somewhere. And maybe even you're just passing on the way. Okay, mm. we have no problem of people having that fake life. Mm. But at the end of the day, is that life helping you? Exactly. Is it going to give you the... Will you feel demoralized? Because you went somewhere. You showed people how you've gone. And maybe... Do you know these things sometimes hurt? You post for us a photo showing us you went to some Kempiski or some high-end hotel. And then tomorrow you're here calling me. Help me and with 200. <laughs> Do you think I'll give you that 200? Yesterday you showed me your patting, busy patting and doing all sorts of things. Eh? This one reminds me. And then me. tomorrow you die. Eh? This one reminds me. During uh, Christmas, I, 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 I was able to go somewhere in Ruaka. Mm-hmm. And we didn't go to high-end uh, liquor at that place. Mm-hmm. So we took videos, me and my friend, selector. I don't know whether you're inside here watching behind the scenes. Yeah. So I posted and he also posted. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, please share, share, share with me that video, share with me that video, so that they can also at least share with me that video and show our status. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, I was like, you're not here. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to share it? So people want to take that video. Even people downloaded it and were like putting like like me, I was putting like Shere and Itaki Asira. Mm. Okay? Mm. So the people would sh- use my same video of to that expensive out. liquor mm. and share it out and then say Shere Itaki Asira. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you see how people are living a fake life. So people on those people said us will feel like, oh my, this one is having a best life during Christmas. May don't have food. But they don't know this person as taken from somebody's but somebody's they status said, yeah. again somebody in my channel that in my status that doesn't talk with me yeah. is like oh this is living good life how can yeah. she afford and that is all stress. this alcohol yeah and they don't know i'm not even in my house i'm in somebody else's house <laughs> it's not my liquor i was invited somewhere you even don't take that liquor i even don't take liquor in fact we just took videos and posted it. Shere itaki asira. Okay? So don't kill yourself. If somebody killed myself because of my status, you're going to die. And because you know, now you know I can people... say, see how my house is beautiful. It's not my house. You see? So don't kill yourself because of uh, social media. Don't tire because of social media. And then again, uh, another person also posted again that at the and to those people who are posting for December, mm-hmm. we see you. Don't ask us for money. And I was tagged because the way I, I, I disturb people during Christmas. Yeah. I read this up. So they're saying, don't ask me for money. <laughs> we saw your status during December. Mm-hmm. And they were tagging me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so guys, you know, we need and Sheila Gaki says. So guys, you know, let me tell you one thing. Do what you know you can. When time comes for asking for help, people will help you genuinely without faking it. Eh? Yeah. Uh, Shinagaki says, Watch and Yone come and it's a wezana nahi. It's okay, Sheila. Come join. <laughs> you can share the, the link. You can join Sheila. You can share the we link. We need you on here on this. Uh... Yeah, invite. Okay. Copy. No. Hmm? Let me do it for you. No. It's copied. So you had Dio. Yeah. So you don't need to you don't need to be stressed because of someone who is not even there at the first time to help you out. I don't think it's it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. You die because of someone who is not even there. At yeah, that time, yeah, you go taking videos, you go sharing out uh, how you go sharing out how people are are having fun, and now you want to brag to your friends that you know what I'm also having fun. Mm, people are faking shit. People are faking shit. If hey, like if you killed yourself because of me, said I was at my house. Uh, Sheila Gaki says. Uh, the audacity to tag you. I can imagine they tag me. They say, don't ask us for money. We saw your December post. <laughs> ah, Sheila Gaki said, no, today, though, the electricity is acting. Don't worry. We are doing a lot of lives uh, this month. We really need to get more enticed. So 
we'll be doing a lot of lives and we really need you in one of our panels. In one of our panels. Yes. So, uh, Dayo, tell me, hmm. what do you think of a situation that you're already in a mess and you need to act so fast to get rid or to, to get help in you, or you, you need to help yourself on how you're going to, to come out of this mess? You know, there are some situations you, mm. you only give depression to your own. Yeah. But now you need to convince people and you have to come back being strong. Yeah. What will you do? Uh, like to convince them. I want to. You know, you can't make everyone happy. Yes. You'll do it for yourself. Yes. But you need to be strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, mm. you did something. Through the happies you had, you had fun, you, nee, 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 you got pregnant now. I feel like I'm going to say something that my sister told me when I got pregnant. Yeah. She told me that it's already between your legs. So the thing is to know and how thought, will I give birth. And you, you thought you'll, you'll bring a banana. Yeah, it's already, it's already. <laughs> and then if, if you're a Benjamin Zulu fan, says that you're not going to, to mess up and you think you're going to, to give birth to banana. Yeah. I shall just and take them to the market. <laughs> yes. And take them to the market and sell. Mm. So when you find that you're, I'm already pregnant, the next thing is to know how will they give birth. Yeah. The situation is already there. Mm -hmm. Take charge. Mm -hmm. Just know I'm, I'm going to be a mother soon. What will I do? Yeah. Get to know how to deal with pregnancy. Get to get, get some few clothes in advance, mm -hmm. one by one clothes. Like me, I started buying one, one clothes. Up. Um, putting it them. somewhere, one, one clothes. By the time my baby was there, had a lot, a lot, both, both girl and boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when, when you get into such a situation, mm -hmm. like take charge, I'm pregnant. What next? I'm dumped. What next? I failed in school. What next? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, I feel like it's take charge of every situation. Yeah. And, uh, don't any don't let anything make you get depressed. Don't let anything get depressed. Just see what you'll do next. Yes. And that's the only way out because if you don't live a day at a time, things won't work out for you. You give yourself stress today, tomorrow. By the time the week is over, God has reduced your days of living. At least make a smile a day. Whatever you can't control, let let it be. Whatever you can control, try and control it. You know, mm -hmm. have that in mind. You can't control everything in your life. Yes. Today you decide tomorrow, very in the morning, I'll wake up and go and sell all my clothes in my closet. And then it rains. <laughs> Maybe God doesn't want you to go and sell all your clothes. Yes. And you know God will never put you in a situation that He can't get you out of. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So we need to cheer up, guys. Live a day at a time. Always be happy, despite what you're going through. Share your worries or your world outside with people who value you, people who care, people you know, even if you share your problems out, they're going to help you. Even if it's not financially, they're going to help you mentally yeah. and spiritually, yes, you know. Yes. And I'm not telling you that to go to a pastor who is going to tell you, I'm going to help you, pray for you. And then tomorrow <laughs> that pastor is telling you, you have to, to plant a seed of CG, yeah, how much yeah. for me to help you. My friend, run. I feel like it's better that... you be on your own than even going to these. The current pastors we have. They're fake. Yahoo pastor. <laughs> Yahoo. Yahoo pastor. They just wash, wash your money, I swear. <laughs> you go for you go for prayers, intervention. My God, you want to go there so that the pastor can intervene for you to God. Yes. I have problems. Yes. And then he tells you you have to plant a seed. And then <laughs> he tells you, you know what, my friend, you have to break these bondages. Eh? There is a bondage you need to break. And now you know. Yeah, you have to, The person who put you in this situation. Yes. Gave out a lot of cash for you to be, you know put in this mess and for you now you don't have to give small small money you have to go and uh break these bondages these altars that they were placed there for you you need to cut the altars out so yes. we need to pray at the same time you go stress yourself again get some money pay this pastor and the end of the day you pay in kind 
And who told you you cannot talk to God yourself? Exactly. Do you need to pay a person to pray or to intervene for, for you, you, to talk to God for you? You don't believe in yourself. How can you pay someone so that your life can be so that your life can ca, can be good? Can change. Can change. You don't need to pay somebody to you need to advance in life. You really don't need. I'll pray for you. No, I'm saying <laughs> I'm talking of uh, the Yahoo pastors that you have, the washers pastors that you have. That you want me to pray for you? Give me two thousand. <laughs> Yet to yourself, you're suffering. But a pastor is telling you that give me two thousand so that I can pray for you. What kind of pastor is that? Sure. Hi, Brian Kenya. Hi, welcome to our discussion. Yet another discussion and another sweet one. Can you tell us about depression in school and maybe depression in relationship? I know you have undergone so much in life so can you share with us tell us let me know let us know what you think about this issue how to get out of this stress yeah without stressing yourself more exactly yeah and Sheila says pastor wash wash New New England, England, Kenya. Kenya. exactly Sheila liquid awesome thank you well thank you dear for joining our live kindly share us out shares out we also have our number there on the screen if you want to support us in any way please support us so guys if we that aleki says niko hapa di musho karibu 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 sana share 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 out and asema hapa ni stay home stay safe yeah so guys don't go to these pastors asking for help you want to go and why don't you just kneel down in your house praise mm. your hands up put mm. everything you need say, tell god do you know they're, they're not by the way i came to realize we don't know how to pray to God. Yeah, we don't know. You get there and you start telling God, no, God, you know, I want to give me this. You see, the way Dio did to me last time, I didn't like, no, don't go rebuking people to God. Even if you don't know how to pray, just praise him. Sing yeah. for him. Just go silent. Even just say the, the Lord's prayer only. It's enough. Yes. God will understand that you don't know how to, to express. But even before expressing yourself you already knows what you want to tell him exactly no but go breaking bondages and altars here <laughs> and those altars are placed on you in fact the minute to give out that money yeah even if it's 10 shillings and he's telling you give out a thousand bob forever all the money you'll be getting it will be going to that church exactly. but then it, it feel like they are like they say there are two pastors they are pastors from heaven and their pastors from hell. <laughs> they are washers pastors and they are also they are also good pastors. They are good pastors. Like one of my mentors is a pastor, yeah. Pastor Zadias Charlie. Mm -hmm. Yani, this person has been with me all through my life. Yeah. Yeah. And he has never asked me for money. In fact, it's me. I'm like, Pasi, I don't have money for supper. Please send me something. And he sends And he'll send it to me. Those are the pastors. Pastor, you need to help me when I don't have trouble. Not me give you money and I don't have a how? But you know, there are people, there are Kenyans who want. There are people who want money. There are people who want to fast miracles. Chap chap. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. We want miracles to happen. Yes. I want. I want tomorrow to wake up and Dayo has to say I have money. Yesterday I was begging, and now today I don't have. Eh? Yeah. Uh, Brianna says I just joined. So far I have had. You mentioned pastors and, and people, people faking, faking Christians. Christian. Yeah, I'm um, grateful. Relative depression dropping comments on each. each. Thank yes. you so much, Brian Kenya. Thank you so much. He also said hi. The Mokazis, Mokazis is uh, is here with us. He has been with us all through our life. So our topic today, basically, those who are entering like Brian Kenya, it was all about depression. How do you deal with depression yeah. in relationships? And maybe in school that we're talking about relationship when maybe you and your partner, your relationship is not working anymore. And in school, when your grades are, are low and you're not doing well, or rather you want to finish your school during the COVID year and then COVID happened and boom, like you had to stay at home. How do you deal with such depression? For me, with like one of the points I said about depression is get to know what's made me what is making me depressed? Get yeah. to know what made me depressed. Yeah. Second thing is taking action. Take action. Like, this is what's making me depressed. Is mm -hmm. If it's like, um, relationship is making me depressed. This person is not giving me peace. And like, what I say, if a relationship is not working, leave. You're not, it was not a must for you people to, 
to have, be in a relationship. If it doesn't work, just leave. Yeah. Yes. If it's at school, uh, because you're not unable to finish your school because of corona, corona pandemic, mm. and you have to repeat again, any corona happened worldwide. It affected and everybody. It affected everyone. Yeah. Okay. And if you have being depressed because corona happened and it really changed changed everything about your life, understand that you're not the only person going through that. A lot of people are going through the same thing that you're going through, or even worse. Yeah. It's only that not everyone can come out and say, like, like us to say, like, we lost our job during the corona pandemic. Not all people will come out and say that. We started YouTube because, like, we don't have a job and it's it's some, something that we had to do just to be sane. Yeah. Okay? It's something that we're doing so that at the end of the day, one day we're going to be having someone who can get revenue. Okay? And do you know, even making your mind active yes. or even doing something, do you know, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Yes. That's when you sit down and start thinking of, oh, what if I drop myself from the seventh floor? Yes. Oh, what if I go to steal? Or I'm thinking of going to seek a highway when there's a car coming and I... Yes. What if I start doing prostitution? Yeah. So... Don't be idle. Even yeah. if you don't have anything to do, yeah. don't be stressed. Don't go to Koinange Street or any other place. Just be you. Do what you love best. If you feel like you love dancing, do it to avoid stress. Yeah. Dance. Yeah. If you feel that going to your neighbors and gossip, although gossiping is not good, but you feel it's what will make you keep you sane, go talk to people. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Talk, interact with people, get movies, watch, yeah. eat. And you know there are people who when they're stressed, they eat so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they gain weight. When they're stressed, when they're depressed, they gain weight. Like I said, de uh, depression is an advanced stress. It's just that small, 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 small. It's not just stress, then it advances to stress. And it really changes the way you act, the way you treat people, the way you behave. Depression really changes you as a person. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you can be depressed and you don't know, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But you can know you're depressed by extreme anger, wanting to stay alone, banging things, banging things. I don't uh, any any I don't know. And sometimes when it advances, it goes to what we call bipolar. Mm -hmm. Or what she said, uh, Sheila Gaki said can cause this is also <laughs> English came with aeroplane. Diana, can you stop? <laughs> English came, came with aeroplane, Sheila. Depression can cause the cocoa Brian, can you read that for me? Depression can cause cheese up. Hey, let me not kill myself. Oh, and bipolar too. Yeah, bipolar is advanced depression, especially when you have free loss of free time. Very true. And then. Brian Kenya said, I was in an abusive relationship sometimes back to an okay. extent that I was suicidal at some point. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But he said Let that. But he said that. But he decided to take charge of my life. And so I walked out. You did the, and you did the most amazing thing. Because if you took your life, who could be with us today in this channel? Imagine. Who could be running Brian Kenya YouTube channel? Who could be doing the things that you have done after leaving that uh, after after leaving that relationship? So I feel like you took the best step. You can't die because of son of a man or son of a woman. Or son of a woman. Don't die because of a person. Mm. Your, God gave you life to live. God has a purpose and reason to where you're in this world today. He has a reason to where you're breathing today and someone else somewhere didn't breathe like you're breathing. So I don't think it's good to force or to be in a place where no one needs you or that yes. person needs you. Yeah. So you did the best thing ever in your life to walk away. You'd rather go through stress alone knowing that you're going to push yourself and you're going to achieve. Yes. That's the best thing you ever did exactly and i know that name is also giving you stress don't worry about it so one day you pronounce it well yes yeah, even brianna cannot <laughs> <laughs> brian kenya cannot so you cannot kill <laughs> me <laughs> oh Mwakazi, please comment down below if you can be able to comment to spell for me <laughs> <laughs> 
You're letting me down. Now. Look <laughs> I, at yourself. I, I cannot kill myself. Oh. <laughs> if you know you're going to give Diana a Valentine gift, Candy, buying a dictionary. <laughs> you see <laughs> the help. number on the screen. Yeah, if you can support us in any way, our number is up there. Please support these two amazing girls for Valentine. I think a dictionary will be good. A dictionary. <laughs> so that it can help in pronouncing words. That word. Okay. But so no worry, it's life. Yeah. So Brian Kenya mm-hmm. and anyone, not no no relationship should make you don't be no not to be happy, should make you depressed. Nothing in this life should make you depressed. Exactly. If you feel like it's things are not working, leave. Yeah. Even if it's a, it's a job and it's making you depressed, you don't have a peace of mind, leave. Don't make anything in this life stress you. Hmm? Life is too, too, too short to get stressed. Mokazi says, I'm proud of you. Keep on going. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. There is a name Amazing. that you have seen there. Can we help us pronounce the name? Thank yes. you. We'll appreciate. <laughs> Sheila, help us with the name again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sheila Gaki, uh, give us your feedback about this. Guys, tell us more. Help us. We need to know how you are going to control depression, how we are going to uh, help ourselves get out of that. Working out is one of the solutions. So what other solution do you have? Even turning to God. Do you know there are people who get to the end? You feel that you have got to the end. You don't have anything else to do. Even your family members are tired of you. Yes. What will you do? You just turn up to God. Yeah. Go back to God and Talk to him. Just tell him, Bazenga, Joe, come, come and intervene for me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So apart from walking out and God, what else? What else? And guys, if you know there's someone who is suffering somewhere, not even as the two of us, if you know there's someone who is depressed somewhere, that person doesn't have food, that person doesn't have anything, and he or she has a family, kindly, even if it's not financial, just give yourself up go help that person. Mm. Talking to that person will help. Yes. Go spend a day with or hours person. with that person. Mm. Because if you talk to someone and they feel that there's someone somewhere who knows my problem, yes. who can share with me, yes. can you do it? Yes. If you have a job or you know someone who has a job, mm-hmm. they can offer. Even I, if it's not all that well paying, can you yeah. share it out? Yeah. yeah. And always as a person, always have a confident, always have somebody that you can always speak out to Always have somebody you can trust. Also, talk to I in the beginning of the vlog of the live. I say that if you have like me in the past, I had trust issues. So I used to talk to people abroad, people that don't know who I'm talking. I'm talking about if it's my family, if it's my maybe my relationship, if it's my kind of life. Talk with somebody that doesn't know you that is abroad and you can trust in yeah. your life and talk that thing out, and they can help you. Okay, so always have a confidant. Don't put things, you know, depression is when you put so much things in your heart yeah. that you have never spoke out to somebody. Yeah. So they start killing you slowly by slowly. Mm-hmm. And within no time, you find that you're old, you're wrinkled, you've lost weight, yeah. you, you forgot yourself, you don't even take shower, you don't brush your teeth, you don't take care of yourself. So depression doesn't start up. Um, it just like small. Ones, yeah. It's small. Uh, it creates a little bit small and small. Yeah. Uh, we have adventure and novelty. Welcome. Novelty news says God bless you. You're also blessed. Can you share with us? Let know how to, we're going to solve depression. Yeah. Thank yeah? you so much. And then Arabomet says live your own life on your own terms. Exactly. Mokade says hello to you and say thank you for joining this amazing topic. Bian Kenya says you can also try helping your mind busy. Personally, True. I make sure I have a novel around to distract me. I read, I read a, a lot. lot. Nice. Always find, like I always say, always find your passion. What do you like? Yeah. If it's reading, read. Yeah. If it's sent to music, listen. Yes. If it's traveling, travel. Any go, do the things that make you lift your soul, that make you happy. And always, any, don't be idle. You know, depression, mm-hmm. it kills you when you idle. When you have nothing, and that's why I'm saying it's a devil's workshop. Exactly. If you're idle, if you're idle, so always have a to-do list. Like today, I'm going to do this, do this. By the end of the day, it's like, oh my, it's night. Yeah. Oh my, I need to make up a shower, sleep. Mm-hmm. So always make sure that you have something to do so that you cannot have a time to sit down and start remembering of your struggles, 
of everything that's not going right. Stress, you know? Yes. If you stay alone and start thinking of what you don't have, my friend, it's going to kill you. Yes. But if you sit down with people and have fun and start have, do you know there are people somewhere who don't have food even for a week? They don't have even shelter. Remember, there is that person already, the landlord is there bothering them with rent. Imagine. And you don't have even a single shilling yeah, for that rent. We have gone through that. You're busy stressed here because you don't have makeup kit. Imagine. You have not made your hair and there's someone else who is dying of anger. Imagine. And that should strike you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but uh, I think this is a thing that people have gone through during the pandemic and, and uh, as I always say that the world only accommodates strong people yeah. if you're not strong in this world mm -hmm. you can never make it mm -hmm. in every situation in life you must be strong yeah. you must be strong you have to have faith in God that today I'm struggling but to, tomorrow is a new day tomorrow yeah. I'm asleep today I don't have money but tomorrow I might wake up with one million in my account. That is God. That is faith. Yeah. Always like believe that you're going to make it in life. Yeah. Don't just get depressed and do nothing. Yeah. Mwakade says never sit and just think about your issues. And then he says, I wake up every day at 4 a.m. Start my day by telling God to take charge of my day and my life. And then watch inspiration. Videos, videos like for 30, 30 minutes. minutes wow i wish i can be a morning person to I be sincere to that. i'm a night person i'm a night all i can stay up to three i can even do everything up to three but let me just sleep do oh. you know what i came to know mm -hmm. if you're that person who wakes up in the morning and the first thing you do when you just open your eyes you take your phone go to whatsapp status go to <laughs> instagram go to facebook my friend, you're killing your, you're even killing the psych for the day. You know, it's not even helping you because number one, you just opened your eyes and the first thing you went to Moshene or Udaku, you're going to, to see, hey, Instagram. let me check what's happening here, you know. And you didn't confirm even if you're still working. Yeah, you just wake up and go to to those places and start Thing. Hey, hey, I can see Queen Dayo has bought a new dress. Imagine. You just brought You brought your depression own. to yourself. I feel like when you wake up, the first thing you have to thank God for seeing the new day. Mm -hmm. At least take a car, uh, take water, mm -hmm. at least go shower, mm -hmm. make tea, breakfast. Then after that, you can check maybe your phone, your emails, Instagram, kidogo, kidogo. But mm -hmm. like I always say, don't stress yourself because of social media life. Social media life social media life is all most of them is yeah. all fake yeah yeah so another thing so the best way you can just wake up and start with a motivational Video. something that is going to motivate you talk to your god first even if you're stressed just talk to your god even if you're stressed just do your own thing don't wake up in the morning the first thing you in social media facebook What's up, Instagram? I know you're thinking, ah, oh, so today she's doing this. Let me wake up and try do. Never copy paste, my dear. Yeah, dear. Never oh, copy. no. Because one day it will get to somewhere that you have been living a fake life. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> when I got stressed for the very first time, I never enjoyed this. And I vowed I'll never be de depressed because of anything. Just appreciate what you have. Today you wake up with something tomorrow you if you ever told me that i'll ever one day sit down in the house for months doing nothing you never accept I said, i'll ever sit down in my house and say do you know i had a business do you know i had do you know there's a time i was so traveling i never thought that day will ever come but always even god likes to show you that you should learn to appreciate what he gives you at that moment yes yeah appreciate what you have yeah I never knew, I used to hear people say, you know, I'm so depressed, I can't pay my rent. You know, I was so depressed, I can't do this. And, and I was understood. like, if you're not in their shoes, you, you never understand. understand. Yeah. Until when I lost it, that's when I came to realize, oh, people even miss 20 bob, 10 bob for buying credit. Yeah, imagine you can. You can lack. Imagine you can even have a thousand uh, Okoa Jahazi. And then he... Yeah. I came to realize that if you have appreciate, if you see someone who doesn't have help, yeah. 
help helping mm. is good. try connect with people never have grudges okay let me not say i never have i have so many people who have grudge but forgive and it's not because they don't help me or anything but it's just that you feel you need to yeah keep away from some people so that you can stray yeah. we always say uh, uh, walking a thousand step of the journey or what do we say about it if you need to succeed walk a thousand miles no mm. if you need to succeed walk alone Oh, we are walk alone. If you have people who are pushing you and lagging who are lagging you behind, yeah. you're not going to achieve anything. Yeah, exactly. too. Mm, for me, like I've said, I'm a person like Brian Kenya said, a relationship almost made me kill myself. Yeah. Uh I really tried to take myself like three times. Wow. Yeah, trying to commit suicide and I'm thankful that today I can stand and say that nothing in this world Mm-hmm. nothing will ever make me depressed nothing totally nothing in this world i swear that can make me depressed okay i feel like life is so precious I, and god has a lot in store for us don't need to take your life because of a situation kindly just find somebody to talk to share out your problems with somebody don't keep them to yourself yeah so i'm thanking god that i'm a person i'm a warrior from depression Uh so as we are about to finalize we're going to read the last comment as Brian Kenya says now that you are talking about this most people go to church to seek refuge when they are at their lowest but it's so sad that they end up being discriminated in church. Wow well, yeah it's true. It's true. Any people people sometimes they, like I said we have wash wash churches we have yahoo churches and brian kenya might not understand the meaning of for sure or yahoo churches for sure is like conning somebody yahoo is like conning somebody money because of a situation that is going through so you find that you're going to a pastor to help you but then he ask you for 5000 or 2000 to pray for you do you know even the do you know the even people who will tell you come to our church we're going to help you do this and this and this and this but at the end of the they're not there to solve your problems they won't help you yeah you know yeah. so you get even whatever problem you had you just say like i wish i even stayed at home yeah, exactly and stayed with me because the more you think you've gone to this church to get help the more even they see you as if you're so desperate so they'll have to make sure you stay there to continue being more desperate yeah yeah Bokadi says churches are in the business mostly don't care about people's affairs yeah. they care about, about your sadaka. sadaka churches are in business so but i didn't say all there are good <coughs> churches out here but most of them are in business so find a good church yeah. go there get to get one pastor that is your mentor and uh, let them walk you through the journey uh we are finalizing so can you let us know what you might add up on this uh, I want to personally thank everyone that was in the house. I want to thank Accord TV. I want to thank Bucket List Sess. I want to thank Family Vlogs. I want to thank the Mwakazis for being here. I want to thank Mili Oduor. I want to thank Brian Kenya from for watching us. I want to thank uh, Sheila Gaki. I hope you're still here with us. I hope electricity has not uh, messed you up. I want to thank uh, Liquid Arts Aleki. I hope you're still with here with us here. I want to thank my namesake Diana Kims. I want to thank uh, Super Trainer Demokazis for being with us all through. Uh, is there anyone I've forgotten? Arap uh, Bomet, I want to thank you so much for being with us. Uh, there is something here. Amakade says pastors driving bikas and having bodyguards. I ask myself, would you guys do that? <laughs> Ah uh, so they don't they, have you noticed that and i saw this summer people were deba- debating about this they said when the pastor or the church is undergoing some financial crisis they tell people to contribute yeah but when you have problem they tell you to go to who to god yeah. kneel down and pray to god to solve your problem but when they are facing financial problem they tell you or the church is undergoing some financial crisis they tell you they tell the cog- the congregation uh, other people we need to uh, have a small harambe we need to buy this we need to fix this we need to fix our lights to do what we need to fix our cameras to do what we need to buy new instruments yeah but when you have a problem they tell you to kneel down and kneel down and talk to god why don't they if they know they can perform these miracles and do all these things they do why can't they talk to god directly to provide the instrument and like mm-hmm. telling people 
I have my problem. So if you tell me to go and seek guidance from God, you, you don't want to help me. I should kneel down and pray. At the first I knew I can pray. Yes. But I came for you to you to help for yes. more help. Yes. For more guidance. Mm-hmm. Not that I don't know to pray. I came for more advice, more guidance. I feel as if I feel that I've shared something with someone. Exactly. So our pastors, so just have sane mind. Yeah. For depression, the only thing that can save you is just sane mind and focus. Yeah. Yeah. And know that life is so precious. Life is so precious. The world needs you. God gave God gave uh God uh, any God brought you in this life for a purpose. He knew you even before you were born. So then don't, don't take your life. Don't take your life. Uh Brianna Brian, she says she's going home. Brian Kenya is saying, I am glad I stopped here. I have my take home, yes. So, nothing should kill you. Nothing, nothing, nothing should kill you in this life. Makazi says, friend to support our host, Queen Dayo. Use the numbers above. Makazi, I've seen your Mpesa. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Kindly please support me and Simple ADP in our live. We have our Mpesa number there and our send wave number. Please support us. We really, really appreciate. Yeah. Did I forget somebody that was in the live and we didn't Vanessa. mention? Vanessa. Family vlog. I mentioned family vlog. But Vanessa Ogubolebele. Ogubolebele. She's... <laughs> I think, guys, we have to end this live stream here for someone to go eat something and <laughs> think. I can see now she starts to, she's clashing people's names. No, you know, she she's a Nigerian from 234 and her name is a little bit hard. Vanessa Ogwambelele. Don't tire my sister. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for joining us. We enjoyed this topic. We enjoyed your company so much. We enjoyed that you shared with us and we shared our problems or even shared our thoughts with you, guys. We are so much humbled. We enjoyed so much. I'm Simple ADP. Kindly go support me in my channel. I do cooking vlogs, cleaning vlogs, and also on weekends, mostly on Saturdays, we do have live stream that where we go to encourage women or even men. We do sensitive talks to build each and everyone here. So I'll appreciate so much if you support me. And thank you so much, Dayo, for having me in your channel. It's a great honor. To be here to be seen by your people you're welcome i want to thank everyone that has been us through two amazing hours yeah the the live was so interactive uh, people really stepped in people really shared out people have been with us all through all through and um i want to say that if you have not connected to simple adp here and you're here please go support her if you're not connected connected to me at Queen Dio. I do a lot of motivational videos. I do a lot of relationship videos. I do fitness kidogo. I've done some fitness with the Mokazis. So you can go also check my channel, subscribe and uh, like, comment, share, support us, support African YouTubers, support international YouTubers, support YouTubers as a whole. So I think that um, we're ending our life. Thank you so much. We'll be doing another one sooner, 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 sooner. Uh, maybe we read the last comments. Uh, Mokazi says, it has been amazing topics. Thank you. And come for free exercise at my place. We surely will. Uh, it helps you stay sane. Yeah. So check out the Mokazis for free exercises in yeah, his channel. Yeah. He does it. So many people join it. And guys, you'll just like it. So don't waste your money going to the gym. You can follow him up. Yeah. Thank you, Brian Kenya. Bye. Have a good night. I don't know whether it's night time at your place. Bye bye. Until next time. Bye bye. bye. And I have my small cat. Here. <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. Bye.